Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends and glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at the uh, film called Bottom Feeder, which stars Tom Sizemore. And he, he plays uh, a little head of the manager, if you will, the supervisor, if you will, of a grounds crew for the city. And, well, there's this abandoned uh, medical facility that they are in charge of going and uh, clearing out the the tunnels and well while they're doing their job and cleaning out the tunnels they run across paths with a rat man yes a rat man who we find out was actually part of a, an experiment to try to find a cure uh for uh you know regenerating tissue and such and, and so we see Tom Sizemore and company battle the Rat Man as well as uh, these uh, kind of bad guys who were the ones that hired the scientists in the first place and now want uh, their uh, product for the price that they paid. Man, this film, wow. Um, Tom Sizemore is the biggest name in here, and he, he's playing Tom Sizemore, okay? There's not a whole lot of stretch in character in this, nor in script. What I will say about it is that I did enjoy the practical effects and the practical gore they had going on here. The gore whores, this is a film for you folks, because you'll really like it. The Rat Man really does a job on all of his victims, a very gory, bloody uh, job where, you know, he's also eaten parts of people too because he needs to eat people to survive he needs the protein if you will uh, literally okay uh, now he, Tom Sizemore does have a few people along with him who uh, can act better than him one of them is uh, Wendy Anderson who plays Krendel and uh, I really like Richard Fitzpatrick's uh, job uh, uh, in here his role in here is Charles Deaver really liked his role in uh, as well and then Martin Roach's Otis was uh, hilarious I, I loved his guy his character uh, added some humor and entertainment in. Now, it is a tongue-in-cheek poke fun at monster films. You can tell by the way they handle the material, the one-liners and such. And, and so I give them props for there, for trying something. But writer-director Randy uh, Dodlin uh, really just... It seemed like it could have used to be a little tighter, uh, maybe uh, thought some things out just a little bit more, because where they tried to get creative or a little bit deep, it, it didn't go deep enough, and they were kind of ha huh? moments as well. Uh, so there is that, you know. I, I, it's an okay movie. It direct to video a release uh, indie film uh, with some uh, bigger names in it. Uh, like I said, Tom Sizemore is probably the biggest name in it. So, you know, it's on Instant Flicks. You can check it out if you're looking for something to watch. Uh, it's not a slow-paced movie by any means. It does keep its pacing nicely, and I didn't fall asleep during it. There are some interesting exchanges amongst the characters, and the dialogue uh, does get cheesy at times. Uh, but on the whole, you, you're not expecting too much from this film, from about a, a, a rat, a mutant rat man, okay, uh, scouring the tunnels under this hospital. So... Check out Bottom Feeder if you want, if you're looking for something to watch. It is one that I wouldn't say, if you want to watch a monster film, don't watch this one. You know, watch Feast first. That's a tongue-in-cheek one as well, but done a lot better. And not just because it had bigger names in it. The script and everything just seemed thought out more. This one seemed like an idea for a possible short that they tried to make into a feature. They got Tom Sizemore in it. Uh, but still, that wasn't enough to really save it for me. And I just found it okay where, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, if you've run out of the list of things in your Netflix queue and you're still looking for a horror film, then maybe you want to watch this or for the casual viewer. But for a, a diehard good monster horror film, a bottom feeder is not. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.